Hello peeps, Katya here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different as I will be talking about the future of this channel. It's something that I've been thinking a lot about recently and the reason for that is that I am not as immersed into the plants as I was when I started or even during the quarantine and that's mainly because I don't have as much time as I did before and I'm also kind of living in another location where majority of my plants are staying and whenever I get home I just do plant chores intensively all the time. So it does leave me out with little to no energy to actually film and I do really enjoy filming and editing videos and it's something that I would love to pursue in the future and it got me thinking that maybe I could try and do some non-planty related content now hear me out, if you're only here for the plants and you won't like any of the new content, feel free to unsubscribe, no hard feelings whatsoever. I do still plan on making the plant content, maybe just not in that extent as I used to. I think recently I've gotten to a quite comfortable point with my YouTube journey because I am regularly posting once per week, which is a big achievement and it's kind of really hard to get into that routine. I was really hoping that I could pump two videos per week, but that really wasn't sustainable for me and I think one video per week is the perfect frequency. So I think I will be keeping up with that in terms of plant content. One more time during the week I will upload a video with non-plant related content and a little background of what I'm actually doing in my life. I've just kind of finished my three-year program which is in food science. I've kind of graduated this year, well technically I haven't but I have all the assignments and I've passed all my exams. Even though I enjoy studying this it wasn't something that my heart desires to do and what my heart wants is something in terms of microbiology and biotechnology. So I've decided to do masters in microbiology but in order to do it I do have to do two of my differential subjects one I've already done, which is immunology. Immunology? I can't say that. I've passed that and I have another course that I have to take this year. It's microbial genetics and I have this class for half a year, two or three times a week. The rest of the days I will be working because I got an amazing job in a biotech lab and I'm really thrilled to be working there just because I thought that I would have issues or well, I never really saw myself getting easy into the biotechnology field with food science diploma, which is practically useless if you ask me because um, all of those so-called nutrition experts be crushing us on a daily basis but it did really help because when I was still in uni I was helping out in our biotech lab so I did get some experience there so this is what probably was the reason that they offered me that job or that I got that job so in the next year school year I will be balancing one very hard subject two days of work and YouTube and plants <laughs> so it's a lot I don't want to be that person that makes content just for the sake of making content because you know it gets the views I would really love to experience more of vlogging type of videos and try out different editing because primarily my videos are sit-down videos and maybe some reporting of the plants and that's it. I would like to really get out there and see what else I can do and what else do I enjoy. I still consider myself a fairly small YouTube channel and I wouldn't necessarily say that at this point making another YouTube channel would be great because realistically speaking I will not be able to keep up with two YouTube channels. It's a fact. So you get this one with a little bit of mixed content, you take it or you leave it. I had the same dilemma with my Instagram as well. I was like, heck, um, I don't really use my personal Instagram anymore just because I am on my planty Instagram and I've decided that I will start posting more of the personal stuff on there as well. But you know, I don't really feel like starting another YouTube channel, another Instagram channel and kind of just leave everything that I've worked on for the past these years to die out. I feel like it's just a waste of time and energy and even though I may be better prepared to start a new YouTube channel and start a new Instagram page, I don't have the energy to do that so we'll be passing on that. So in terms of content I will see what will happen. I will try to film some different things and maybe you will enjoy them. I know some of you come strictly for the plant content. Some of you actually like my personality which is really nice of you. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'll try to find a balance with both. 
I still really like plants and I enjoy taking care of them. It's just that I really don't have as much time and energy to do that. And this is also why I have been downsizing my collection a lot. And even though I've been actively doing that, I still have a lot of plants and I've just potted up new seeds that I've gotten. I got Crystal X Luxurian seeds, so that's gonna be really interesting. I still wanna tinker around with anterior pollination and making some good plants, but I've also really grown out of the urge to buy new plants. Like, I don't get that spark anymore. And even if I see the plant that I like and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should buy it. But at the same time, I'm like, well, you know, the plant market is going to shit. So I will probably be able to get that plant at a really discounted price just a few months on it. So I did pass up on some good deals that these people would consider in the plant community with the current prices. I don't feel like investing more into the plants because I kind of want to clear them out if that makes sense so that's the plant with, um that's the plant yes that's the plan with my plants currently so if you made it to the end of this video uh please let me know what your thoughts are on this are you still as much into the plants as you were in the beginning because i do see a lot of people leaving the plant community or not being as active and i kind of understand because the life is kind of getting back to normal and we all have responsibilities outside of plans. Anyways, thank you for listening and I will see you in the next video. Bye!